The film begins with a ship full of sailors attempting to throw harpoons at what they believe is a mermaid. Prince Eric comes down to stop them as it's just a dolphin they want to harm. But the sailors insist that mermaids and other sea creatures are dangerous. Despite Eric's thirst for adventure, Eric's butler Grimsby takes care of the boy at the request of his mother, Queen Selina. In the end, the sailors also throw one of their telescopes overboard. Deep beneath the ocean lies the kingdom of the merpeople, ruled by King Triton. He gathers his daughters Perla, Indira, Mala, Tamika, Karina, and Caspia as they prepare for the coral moon. However, Triton notices his youngest daughter Ariel is missing. He then sends his janitor Sebastian to find her. Meanwhile, Ariel finds a sailor's telescope with her best friend Flounder. It is one of her discoveries in the human world for her. The two swim to a sunken ship and find a fork, but are soon chased by a giant shark. Ariel tricks the shark into seeing herself in the mirror and gets stuck in it, letting Ariel and Flounder escape, thus keeping the shark away from Flounder. Ariel and Flounder are discovered by a diving bird, Scuttle, who is familiar with the human world. She tells Ariel that her fork is a dinglehopper used to style her hair. Sebastian arrives and tells Ariel that he missed the coral moon meeting, forcing Ariel to swim back to her father. As they leave, two eels, Flotsam and Jetsam, spy on Ariel, sent by their master, Ursula the Sea Witch. She is Triton's sister and resents Triton for leaving her in the depths of her misery to take control of her sea. She secretly wants to use Ariel as a pawn in her brother's downfall. When Ariel finds Triton, he scolds her and reminds her to stay away from the surface as it is humans who are responsible for her mother's death. Ariel takes Flounder to her cave where she keeps all of her human artifacts, thereby expressing her desire to see the world above her. Sebastian chases after her, but Ariel sees fireworks in the sky and chases the light. A celebration is being held for Eric's 21st birthday. As Eric celebrates his birthday, Grimsby reminds him of the responsibilities he must shoulder before he becomes king. Ariel observes their talking quietly and sees Eric. She's then found by Eric's dog Max, but Eric misses her. Shortly after, a terrible storm hits the ship. The ship catches fire and bursts into flames, and ultimately crashes into rocks. The crew jumps into their lifeboats to save their lives, but Eric is knocked over into the water. Ariel then swims down to save him. Ariel takes Eric to shore and manages to bring him back to life. Although he is barely conscious, he catches a glimpse of Ariel and hears her voice. Moments later, Grimsby and the other men found him and brought him back to the kingdom. Meanwhile, Ursula continues to spy on Ariel, realizing that she has everything she needs to convince Ariel to her own plans. When Ariel is back in the water, Sebastian finds her and tries to convince her that life on surface is overrated and things are much better where they are. As Ariel takes a moment to enjoy her world, she returns to her cave, where she stops to admire Eric's statue that fell underwater, which she now keeps for herself. Meanwhile on the surface, Eric has his people try to find the mysterious girl who saved him. Selina thinks he's not doing well, but Eric insists this girl saved his life. He runs outside and jumps on a boat while trying to find her himself. Ariel and her sisters are cleaning up the ruins of the sunken ship that has strayed into their territory. Ariel is still upset by Triton's rejection of the human world, but he knows something else is afoot. He then calls Sebastian and asks if he's hiding something. Sebastian reveals to Triton that Ariel is in love with Eric after going up to the surface. Triton finds Ariel in her cave and scolds her for disobeying him. Although Ariel tries to argue that not all humans can be evil, Triton uses his trident to destroy all of Ariel's belongings, causing her to weep with grief. Later, Ursula uses Flotsam and Flotsam to contact Ariel and lure her to her lair, while Flounder and Sebastian follow her. Before meeting her estranged aunt, Ariel discovers a murky pit for Skedalons of merpeople. Ursula plays on Ariel's desire to be with humans and her interest in Eric, while also touting her magical abilities, which she has used to help others. The unfortunate Ariel plucks one of her scales as part of the deal while giving up her voice at the same time. She has three days to get Eric to kiss her or she will become a mermaid again and become a prisoner of Ursula's. Ursula cackles as Ariel's tail disappears and legs grow in its place. She quickly swims to the surface. Ariel is then picked up in a fishing boat that is headed to the kingdom. She is brought in, bathed and dressed before meeting Eric for the first time. Unfortunately, since she cannot speak, he cannot confirm that she is actually the girl who saved him. Nonetheless, he allows her to remain in the castle until other arrangements can be made. When Sebastian finds her in her room, he sees that she doesn't even remember that she has to kiss Eric as part of the deal. Then Ariel sneaks out of her room and finds Eric's library. 
Shortly after, Eric joins her and expresses her desire to see more of the world while showing her what he has found on his journey. The next day, Grimsby has Eric sneak into town with Ariel behind Selena's back. They spend the day on a horse-drawn carriage, nearly running over people, before Eric takes Ariel to a market. Sebastian, Flounder and Scuttle then work together to speed up the kissing process, so they have Scuttle steal Eric's hat to lure them onto a boat to go across a lake. With the help of other animals, they try to set the mood for the first kiss. Through certain clues, Ariel also manages to tell Eric her name. Just as they are about to engage in the kiss, Flotsam and Jetsam turn their boat around. Ursula realizes that Ariel was too close to success, so she decides to take matters into her own hands and use one of her potions to disguise herself as a beautiful woman named Vanessa in order to hypnotize Eric with Ariel's voice. Meanwhile, back in the underwater realm, Triton sends people in search of Ariel. He quickly realizes that his actions may have driven his daughter away from him, causing him great regret. Ariel and Eric return to the palace. Grimsby sees him so happy and tells him he's found the girl he's looking for. He asks him to stop looking for the other girl, but Eric is still not satisfied in his heart. He still wants to meet the girl who saved his life and hear her voice again. He goes to the seashore and waits for her. Then a girl named Vanessa emerges from the mist. She sings for Eric and he believes she is the one who saved his life. He then takes her to the palace. Scuttle flies into the room the next morning to break her the news that Eric is preparing to propose. As Ariel goes in search of him, she sees him next to Vanessa, which breaks her heart. She runs away, prompting Flounder, Sebastian, and Scuttle to go find her. Afterwards, Scuttle hears Ariel's voice from Vanessa's room and sees Ursula's true reflection in the mirror. She flies off to warn Ariel and let her know what's going on. Flounder then goes to tell Triton about the incident, while the others go off to stop the engagement. Scuttle flies in to distract guests at Eric's engagement party and Max helps her attack Vanessa. Ariel walks in and takes the locket from her, breaking it, releasing her voice and finally allowing her to talk to Eric. Before they can kiss, the sun goes down and Ariel transforms back into a mermaid. Selina is disgusted as she believes sea creatures are dangerous. Vanessa turns back into Ursula, grabs Ariel and jumps back into the sea. Later, Triton finds Ursula taking Ariel with her, but she uses Flotsam and Jetsam to confuse Ariel and nearly take her life before agreeing to give up his trident. Ursula has the eels drain Triton's life before gaining more power from the trident. Meanwhile, Eric goes after Ariel and hits Ursula's arm with a harpoon. Flotsam and Jetsam try to drag him underwater so Ursula can kill him, but Ariel causes Ursula to blast the eels to pieces and vaporize them. Then the distraught Ursula grows to a monstrous size and begins attacking Ariel and Eric. She raises a sunken ship and Ariel jumps up to take control of it while Ursula tries to shoot Eric with the trident. Ariel manages to steer the ship so that the broken bowsprit impales Ursula and sinks her into the grave. The trident falls, restoring Triton's life force. Eric returns to the surface, wanting to find Ariel but eventually believing it's useless. As he admits defeat, Selina tells him that she was wrong about the sea creatures and her son's feelings for Ariel. Later, Triton notices that Ariel is looking longingly at the castle. He sees what his daughter wants, even if it means letting her go. He uses his trident to give Ariel her legs back and she returns to Eric where they share their first kiss. Ariel and Eric later marry and prepare to set sail and see the world. They are met by Flounder, Sebastian, and Scuttle before Triton and Ariel's sisters arrive, as well as all the other merpeople, to bid them farewell and see them off alongside the humans, who now combine their two worlds in harmony. So, that's the end of our movie. If you've come this far, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. See you later.